What is that? Huh, okay, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, what did my weekly, I guess bi-weekly, I do this once every two weeks or so, Goodwill uh, trip. Despite the fact that I did get the haul where I found, you know, some really good stuff. I did that, that haul, I think, two days ago, Patagonia, Reese's, Smart Wool. I, I did this haul from this same Goodwill two days ago, and I decided to go back because that time I had only shopped the shirts and the, like, women's outerwear section, um, I pretty much. I, I did shop new clothing racks, which is why I got the APC sport coat, but I decided to go back. Didn't think I'd get that much, but I ended up getting 19 things in about three hours, which is a little bit slow, but um, I'm pretty happy with that for having already cleaned out a lot of the Goodwill that I care about. Um, I shopped the same sections and got some more stuff. So yeah, uh, we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I got. <laughs> First of all, this was the last thing I picked up. I literally cannot go to this Goodwill without finding this brand at least once. That's right, it's a Lululemon. Um, and this was six bucks, they, didn't even pr they did not even price it up, which was weird because it they, they normally price something like this up, but it's just a basic women's uh, top, compression top, I think. Whoa. Pretend that never happened. Um, right. What is... Okay, that works. Back to what I was saying. Lululemon... Women's size six, just basic top. I think this might be Metal Vent Tech. You can see it's got the, the, the big Lululemon logo on it there. Uh, yeah, I literally have not gone to this Goodwill once in the last like two months and not gotten at least one Lululemon piece, which is just kind of ridiculous to me. But it's common where I am and people don't really know how to look for it because, the, at least where I am. And Goodwill normally doesn't price it up except Apparently the last time that I went. Okay, uh, next piece. This was a bit of a margin call. Um, Air Jordan, medium, and it's got this, the whole graphic on it there. This was seven bucks, it's 23, I think. Seven bucks for this is a little steep, uh, but it was flawless, and I know I can sell this for like minimum 15 plus shipping. I'm gonna put it up for 20 plus shipping, and it'll probably sell for that because of the graphic on the back. Um, that's the type of thing that sells really well in terms of like Air Jordan stuff. This is something that I didn't expect to find, I actually, or pick up. I, I found this before, but this is Nike Pro Combat, which is used to be great, is now, uh, sort of took a dip and is now sort of getting ahead of steam again. It's, it's back to being like pretty good uh, I found another piece, but it was it was a women's like extra small or something, and this is a men's medium compression shirt, and it's this it's tan it's this weird color and it's like it's like one active and four solds for this, um, so I don't know if it's just because of the weird color, but that is actually a really strong item. So maybe Nike Pro Combat is back to being good. This was I bought it because it was four bucks, four bucks for that. It's an Orvis jean jacket or like jean vest thing, denim vest with these weird like pleats on it. Uh, there was one, it, it was hard to pinpoint this, but there was one sold that sold exactly like this for I think like 20 bucks and it was plus 24 shipping because it was from the UK or something. So I figure if I put this up for 20, it should sell, especially if I promote it. Um, the specific type of this, I'm not entirely sure what this is called. I think it was called a waistcoat for some reason was the listing it sold. I don't know, but uh, for four bucks, I'm totally willing to gamble on Orvis Denim. Orvis Denim has historically done very, very well. This was uh, a maybe. Uh, I decided to pick it up because th this the numbers were great. The only issue is, look at that. Well, it doesn't, eh, it picks up, kind of. It's pretty, it's pretty dirty on the legs here. Um, I guess less so on this leg, but the, the this one leg just has a lot of grime on it. This is an L.L. Bean, like, quilted on the inside, black watch plaid on the inside, actually. I, I might be able to put that in. Uh, 
That's it. L.L. Bean. And it's a size 46 khaki pants. Really gigantic people wear this. I guess it's, you know, I've seen size 50s, but L.L. Bean, decent brand. Their pants and jeans do pretty well. And something like this, this was only $6. Uh, for something like this, the sell through, it was like three actives and I think 12 solds. I would, this was, I would have bought it in a heartbeat without the flaws. I'm going to try to get that out. Even if I don't get it out, it should sell for like at least 18 ish per, plus shipping, I think. May accept the best offer below that. Um, but yeah, willing to gamble on this. Is this the thing? Yeah, this is the thing. This is my... I didn't expect it. I, I completed the trifecta of Merino wool brands in the course of like a week and a half. This is... I found Ibex like a week ago, found Smart Wool two days ago, and then I found this. Uh, the, the size tag has been ripped off. It's Icebreaker. And it's a cowl neck quarter zip. And it has a pretty damn large hole in the back somewhere. It's pretty gigantic. Did it disappear? There's no way it disappeared. Where? Sorry, this is this is you're just watching me fumble. Okay, here it is. In the in the in the shoulder. It's a pretty gigantic hole. Not like, you know, like gaping, but big hole. It's Icebreaker Merino Wool, though, so of course I'm still going to buy it. It was only $6 because they don't know. Chris Goodwill doesn't actually know that Icebreaker is a, one of the best brands in the world to resell. But yeah, because of the flaw, I'll probably just sell it for 20 plus shipping, but I was really happy that I have now found all three of the phenomenal Merino Wool brands, plus Kuyu. So yeah, uh, let's bag one down. Bag two, we start off with a brand that I somehow have not bought until now. I found it once and I thought the t-shirts were bad, but they weren't bad and I didn't have internet, so I didn't buy it. But it's Untuck It Extra Large Dress Shirt. Uh, I looked at the numbers. They're not as strong as I think they were when, back when I was sort of hearing about Untuck It, but they're still strong and I've heard that these are just generally consistent sellers. Six bucks, I'm willing to pay that. Uh... This is a bit of a weird thing that I found. I, I did think that this is a streetwear brand, and you can tell that just screams streetwear. It's not a crazy expensive streetwear brand, but the numbers are good. It doesn't sell for below 20 plus shipping. Like, that's the absolute minimum for this type of t-shirt. Medium rogue status purple t-shirt. The lowest sold again was 20 plus shipping, and it was about, I think, 66% sell through, so about two thirds. I'm very happy to uh, roll the dice. Was this four bucks or was this? Yeah, this was four bucks. So for four bucks, I am very happy to play the game there. Again, this is a brand that nobody really talks about, at least not that I've heard of. Maybe people do. I just haven't heard people talk about it. Plains Western Wear. I think they, they literally sell this at Target. So I don't know why people buy this stuff on eBay for as much as they do. But like size XL and up, the Pearl Snap, This is these are Pearl Snap Western shirts have sold very well for me. I sell them for like, this was six. I'm happy to sell that for 15 plus shipping. I put them up for 20 plus shipping or, you know, between 18 and 20 plus shipping and they sell really well. Uh, I can't hang on to them for more than like two weeks. Okay, so this one was, um, the numbers didn't really agree with me, but I know that this brand is really solid and it's in a gigantic size. It's mod cloth and it's a size 4X t-shirt. And it's white, and it does not have stains as far as... I, I screened this for, like, a minute and a half, probably. I was really, really sort of just going over every inch of this thing, and I could not find stains. I'm definitely going to find stains when I go to photo this, but Mod Cloth is a solid women's brand um, that sells for decent money. The t-shirts, I don't know how much they sell for, but size 4X, I just figured, even though the numbers aren't great, I think that's just because there aren't that many Mod Cloth 4X t-shirts kind of same with this shirt. This is a, another Pearl Snap Western. I found, I found quite a few of these. The, the best one will be the next item I show, but Cody James Pearl Snap Western, and you'll see the size. I bought it because of the size. The numbers were okay, and it didn't sell for less than like 18 plus shipping. It was $6. Uh, size 3XLT. No track record for 3XLT. 
some track record for 3XL, and the track record for 3XL was pretty decent. I think about 75% sell through, about 20 plus shipping. So I figured I'd pick it up. Finally, this is the best Pearl Snap Western shirt that I found. It is, I, I, I think this was actually a leftover from a Salvation Army, because that's the Salvation Army tag. But it's Vintage Wrangler. And you can tell it's, uh, the, the tag is already uh, vintage, and it says extra long, so I don't know if that's supposed to be extra large. But, let's not whitewash this. You may or may not have been able to see that, but this is, it's made, it says made in USA, confirmed to me that it was vintage. It's a, uh, it's plaid, yeah, it's plaid. I don't know if that's Madras plaid or not. I don't think it qualifies. Um, but it's, it's a plaid Pearl Snap Western Wrangler vintage shirt. I know that those specifically vintage Wrangler Western shirts do very well. Vintage Ra Wrangler jean jackets, vintage Wrangler uh, Southwestern, like Aztec shirts do quite well. I sold one of those um, that I did not buy. I got it from an old man. That is a story that I may or may not tell in the future. Okay, uh, continuing on. This was on a new clothing rack that I happened to call happened upon I didn't even know it was there but I saw it when I was moving my shopping cart REI and it's REI co-op um REI people have said is meh I actually have really good luck with REI especially REI co-op I think it was like 4xl thrown these not too not that many actives I think it was like five actives and 20 sold or something these are just basic women's running shorts or hiking shorts I guess I think that these are yeah they're like it was I looked up the shorts in active wear shorts and it was good good numbers, good prices, good sell-through, good everything. Okay, this was a $6 shirt. I just figured, I did not look this up. I didn't look the Wrangler up either. Look at that thing. It's Nike Dry Fit. Got it for 6 and it's a size, size large, so a good size. Like, that's just a graphic t It's not vintage, but it's a graphic t-shirt in really good condition. There's someone is going to buy that. I don't know who, what type of person buys that, but someone will. This is a really weird piece from Nike Golf. It's these purple, like Nike Golf running shorts. They're like almost hiking shorts, but they are cargo. They have the cargo pocket. They don't have like the, uh, like the the flap that goes over the cargo pocket, but they have. Well, this side does. It's got it's cargo pants technically, cargo shorts. It's Nike Golf. Dry fit is a women. Yeah, that is just white, whited out. It's women's size ten. Um, I looked the numbers up. They were a little weird, but the numbers were good. And this is a sp more, more special than like most of this active cons have sold. So I figured I'd pick it up. It was six, right? Yeah, six. They did not price it up for some reason. This was seven. It's Foot Joy. Really solid, solid brand. Bread and butter brand for six don't know seven dollars basic foot joy polo size medium and this it's a pink shirt pink shirts i've found do pretty well uh just overall as a color i don't know i, I guess because they're a bit a bit more rare same thing with this i i did find this on my last trip and i just decided not to pick it up because i was i didn't think it would be as in in as good demand but it's still in good demand another oakley polo shirt so this one's a size xl and it's purple striped Put this up for 20 plus shipping it'll go quite fast that was eight um and for, oh here we go this is the other untuck it shirt that i found both size xl definitely from the same person they just rolled them out probably today or yesterday or they would have rolled them out yesterday because they were not on a new clothing rack and i got there in the morning so yeah untuck it extra large dress shirt pretty easy sale and yeah that was the last item okay thank you for watching uh even a cleaned out Goodwill that was cleaned out two days ago can still yield a lot of stuff if you know what you're looking for. Bye.